Ba -da 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 -da. What's going on guys? Matt, it's been a minute. I missed two days. It feels like forever since I've done a video. Welcome to another He Played What Wednesday. We got a fun one for you. I've had several requests for this one. I meant to do it a few weeks back. We'll get around to it. I'm going to cable the fourth fret. It's going to go G to D to E minor to C. Over and over, we're going to work on a few little fun little strumming patterns, that kind of thing. Let me say this, and I say this often. If you learn from a different teacher, you're just new to the country song, teacher nation, that kind of thing, first of all, welcome. If you want to do a G chord, lock into two bottom strings, and all six, a D chord, second, bottom, the second fret, third and bottom, second string, the bottom four, an E minor, the fifth and fourth, the second fret, and a C chord, two, four, and five, that's fine. And you'll be awesome. You're gonna get the reason I've said this many times in the past, maybe you're new to the channel. The reason I teach by locking in those two bottom strings and those simple to C at nine over to E minor D is stabilize the guitar. And for years I just quit playing guitar because I couldn't go from a G to that C. People say, Matt, you're teaching bad habits you want, they're gonna mess up in the long run. If you feel that way, that's fine. Go to do your C chord. Whatever, knock yourself out. The way I'm gonna teach it is my, my chords locking two bottom strings, fifth and sixth. So you're gonna, you're gonna do a palm mute first, and then so palm, palm, up, up, down, up, palm, palm, up, up, down, up. When I do a little down up to the bottom, I'm just doing the bottom two strings. palm mute. If you get nothing else out of this lesson, guys, make sure you learn how to do a palm mute and use that in other songs. Just take the outside of your hand, kind of close here. You want to, so not, it's not a full strum. And it's not totally stopped. You're lightly pressing your hand. First part, really work on that. If you're a beginner, you just want to be like, Well, you done done me and I bet I felt it. Tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. Fell right through the cracks. And now I'm trying to get back. If you want to do that, that's fine. Just simple, a four count. If you want to. What you'll see me do too, a lot of times in songs like this, I will, instead of keeping the bottom two locked, I'll take my pinky finger off a lot of times for that D, even that E minor and the C. So you wanna lock, if you wanna just stabilize your guitar, lock them in, that's fine, but sometimes you'll see me go. I got it off. It's still, lucky for you guys, it's still going to be the G to your D to your E minor to your C. It's still going to be the same thing. You're just going to switch up your strumming pattern a little bit. So instead of, so the first one. See that? It's the first one. Pom, pom, up, up, down, up. So on the on the chorus, so I'm going kind of the top two or three drums. So a little little strum, the top two or three, a hard strum, down up, down up, same thing, little strum, down.
guitar still has a little bit of a buzz to it. Um, I've been didn't take this thing in for two years. Um, like I said, you can do it even without a capo. I'm going to switch the key to it. If you're new to guitar, you can, anytime I play, I use this, I play a song with a capo. That's this thing right here that clips on. All this does is change the key of a song. You can take it off and use the same chords, G, D, E minor, C. It's just if I had this on the fourth fret and I take it off, I lowered the song. Boom, boom, boom. Four half steps, which four halves are two whole steps. You don't have to do that. Like I said, or you can put it, you can put it up even higher if you want. If you want a higher sound. Like I said, the, the palm, palm, up, up, down, up, palm, palm, up, up, down, up, on, on the verses and on the chorus. The, Check out my website, countrysongteacher.com, and you sign up for my email list. Like I said, I got right the first link right there in the description. Be sure to put type in your email there. You can get on my email list. I do a little fun uh, top fives and contests and little little promos and that kind of stuff. So be sure you sign up for that, and I will dance at your next wedding. Thank you guys for all the support. Please smash the like button and let me know what song you want me to do next for He Played What Wednesday. Um, I was working on, tomorrow's a little throwback Thursday. Um, why is my iPad not working? Let me see here, hold on a second. Um, I was working on a little song. Y'all remember, um, um, little Vince Gill? It goes, uh, I've been trying to get over you. I do that one tomorrow. I've been playing a lot of Vince Gill lately. Uh, Go rest high on the mountain whenever you come around. I still believe in you. A bunch of those. So uh, be sure to check out that tomorrow. Love you guys. Check out countrysongteacher.com. Let's go. Holla.